Red's Hydrogen 1 is an ambitious first attempt at a phone by a camera company, but the promise of a better than 3D screen doesn't quite live up to the hype. There's also an average camera in there, dated internals, and one of the core functions of the phone won't be available until the end of 2019. This is definitely not a phone worth buying, but there's good reason to keep an eye on it. Let's take a look. No other phone looks like the Hydrogen 1. Its unique and loud design often draws curious eyes. The back packs a massive dual camera module at the top, with raised lines that lead to a flashy red logo with gold pogo pins below. Kevlar panels lie here with a weave pattern for added protection and flare. Minimal it's not, but it does resemble Red's camera gear. The edges of the phone are ridged for better grip. They don't look pretty, but they do make this behemoth of a phone easier to hold. You like the lined texture too, as it also helps with grip. There's a camera shutter button on the right edge towards the bottom, an indented fingerprint sensor on the same side, which doubles as a power button, a USB-C charging port at the bottom, and a headphone jack at the top. The fingerprint sensor is quick to react and unlocks the phone pretty quickly. On the front, you'll see an aesthetic similar to the Razer Phone 2. Chunky bezels at the top and bottom deliver stereo sound. The top bezel also houses two cameras, with an LED light that flashes when notifications come through. There's a little too much going on all around, and even people with large hands will find it cumbersome to use. We constantly had to shuffle it up and down just to be able to reach the top and bottom of the screen, and it's also very heavy at 263 grams. Apple's 6.5-inch iPhone XS Max weighs just 208 grams, for example. The build quality, however, is excellent, and the phone feels like it withstand its fair share of drops. The model we reviewed is made of aluminum, but a titanium version is also available at $1,595 for an even heftier, more luxurious feel. There's a reason for the ridged lines and the pogo pins on the back of the phone. The Red Hydrogen 1 is a modular phone. It's not magnetic like Motorola's Moto Mods, but mods will attach to the back of the phone in some way. We say will because it's currently a promised, not delivered feature. Red hasn't shown any finalized mods yet, but we know of three planned so far. A battery mod, an expandable storage mod, and a cinema mod. The latter is the most interesting, as the company says it will have a red imaging sensor and you will be able to attach lenses from Nikon, Sony, Canon, Fujifilm, and a variety of other camera makers to the phone to turn it into a proper DSLR. That sounds incredible. Just one problem. The earliest we expect to see the mod is a full year after the Hydrogen 1's release, in the fall of 2019. It also sounds like it'll cost a pretty penny, on top of an already expensive phone. While we're excited to see how it works, the long wait and the high price are a serious issue. Most manufacturers will release an entirely new flagship smartphone by then, putting the Red Hydrogen 1 well behind the curve before you ever lay hands on the promised cinema mod. It's a 5.7-inch display with a resolution of 2560 by 1440 it Looks good in day-to-day, -day. use it's sharp, des delivers strong colors, and we had no issues viewing the display outside in broad daylight. But it's not going to beat an iPhone XS, Galaxy S9, or any other flagship phone from major brands. But that's not why we're here. 4View technology is built straight into the screen, and that's what makes the Red Hydrogen 1 special. 4View means the screen can display supported content in 3D, or as Red says, better than 3D. Red hasn't allowed anyone to take a photograph or video of the screen all year because the company believes it's something you need to see for yourself to understand. We agree, it's difficult to describe the effect, and each person we've shown has had a visceral reaction. Now it's difficult to see this effect on video, but the light field display powering the technology is made in partnership with Leia Inc. And it doesn't require glasses. 4View's 3D is much more convincing than Amazon's Fire Phone and slightly better than the Nintendo 3DS. Images don't pop out of the screen like a hologram, but you can clearly see depth, which helps make the subject or an image stand out. The effect isn't perfect though, as it can look fuzzy. It also doesn't look great at angles, and we often found ourselves with a minor headache after staring into the 4View screen for more than a few minutes. So what can you watch in 4View? If you take 4View photos and videos in the camera app, you can look back at them in the Red Player app. Red also created an app called Holopix, which is kind of like a bare-bones Instagram app. You're able to share 4View photos and videos there, 
but they can only be viewed on the Hydrogen One phone, so you're only in a community with people with the same phone. The company said it's in talks with Facebook and Instagram to support the full view file format, but at the end of the day, you still need a supported screen. Then there's also the Red Leia Loft app. This is essentially a store that lets you download apps and games that support the four view screen. Games like Flippy Knife, for example, are available and they work in four view, but it hardly felt like the effect was being used. It didn't add anything to the game or the experience. There's also the Hydrogen Network. It's like the Netflix for four view content. You can stream movies and shows with a 3D effect on the phone. Warner Brothers Studios will be releasing several films on this network in 4 view format, like Ready Player One and Fantastic Beasts and Where to Find Them. These two films will be free for the first 10,000 people who buy the phone from AT&T. You can take a look at the trailer here before you buy the phone, how the effect will look in case you want to watch it in this manner. The technology that makes the 4 view possible is impressive, but it doesn't feel more than a gimmick. Some photos and videos that we captured look great, but we weren't awestruck by the screen. After months of waiting for the reveal, we were a little disappointed when we laid eyes on the Hydrogen One screen for the first time. It made us do a double take because of its novelty, yes, but it wasn't as revolutionary as was implied. It's jarring and we can't imagine watching anything more than a minute or two before we put the phone down. The Hydrogen One has four cameras in total, two on the front and two on the back. Both on the back are 12 megapixels each, and you can take four view photos and videos with both the cameras on the front and the back. There's a button in the camera app that lets you switch to four view camera mode to capture these types of photos, or you can stick to 2D. Unfortunately, there's nowhere to really share these pictures except for the Holopix app, which as mentioned, only works with people who can use this phone. We can't show you these photos, as you would need a screen that supports the technology to see it anyway. If you send a 4View photo through some other medium, the person on the other end will receive a 2D version. 4V photography is best with an isolated subject or object, as it helps make the image pop out a little more. The photos can look pixelated as if you're looking at them through a virtual reality headset, but they're fun to capture and share when you're with a group of people that can see the results at the same time. It's not a feature we were inspired to use every day, We'd rather take great 2D photos. One downside with the 4View is the images tend to look not as good when they are converted to 2D. The 2D photos captured by this phone are good, but nothing special. There's solid HDR when it decides to kick in, and photos can look detailed with good colors. Low light photos can be blurry and grainy, though if you're perfectly still you might snag a shot that looks good. We're not fans of the portrait mode with the rear cameras though, as images looked washed out and lacking in detail like this one. It also doesn't do a great job with colors. However, the front camera isn't so bad. There's good lighting, good colors, and strong detail. In the end, the camera isn't a strong point. It usually takes solid photos and works quickly, but we expected more from a camera company. It's not a red imaging sensor here, it's just a standard smartphone camera, and as such it's not as precise as we'd have liked. It's not as fun as the cameras in the Google Pixel 3, the iPhone XR, XS, or the Huawei Mate 20 Pro. Red Hydrogen One is powered by Qualcomm Snapdragon 835 chipset, a processor from 2017. Most 2018 flagship smartphones use that Snapdragon 845 chipset, but Red says the 845 wasn't ready before the company had to finalize its hardware. There's also 6 gigs of RAM. Performance initially wasn't great. We encountered a lot of sluggishness operating the user interface. This may be partly because it was a prototype unit, but a recent update seems to have fixed a lot of our problems. Now performance is more than satisfactory, apps open relatively quickly, and moving around the interface is fine, though the 835 does show its age. Considering the phone is sold by AT&T and Verizon, expect a lot of carrier bloatware, most of which can be removed. Otherwise, the phone runs a relatively stock version of Android 8.1 Oreo. There's no word on Android 9 Pie, but there is a bit of customization available in the phone that lets you tweak it to your liking. 
There's also 128 gigs of internal storage, as well as a micro SD card at the top in case you want to add more space. The Hydrogen One's best feature is its battery life, which comes courtesy of a massive 4500 mAh battery packed inside. With medium to heavy use, including taking pictures and video, playing 4-view games and streaming music and video, we frequently ended the day with a little under 50% left by 6pm. With light usage, we managed to end a day with around 70% left by 5pm. You definitely don't need to worry about battery life on this phone, it can easily go two days. Most flagship smartphones last one day at most, so RED is a clear winner here. So, impressive tech, but 4-view technology still feels a little gimmicky. There's a decent amount of content here, but there aren't a lot of places to share it. And even if you can share it somewhere, the person on the other end would still need a RED Hydrogen 1 smartphone to be able to view it in that 4-view format. This is clearly the first attempt at a phone by a company with no smartphone experience. But even if you were interested in this phone for the mod, the cinema mod that's coming later in 2019, you may as well wait to purchase this phone in case it gets it cheaper. The Red Hydrogen 1 is available now from AT&T and T-Mobile, and it costs $1,295 for the aluminum model, and at this moment we can't quite recommend it.